Have a holly jolly Christmas. The best time of the year. I don't know if there will be snow, but you can have a cup of sorrow drink. <laughs> Welcome back viewers, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Chef Jody. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make sorrel drink. I mean, having a cup of sorrel drink and a piece of black cake in this time of the year is like one of the best food you can ever digest. As you guys know, Christmas is approaching and it's not too late to make a cup of sorrel drink. So I'm going to be showing you how you can make the best, taste good, Jamaican style sorrel drink. And I mean, most Caribbean people will agree with me that having a cup of sorrel drink, I mean, what more could you ask for? So here I have the ingredients I'm going to be using. I'm going to use some white rum, red label, dry sorrel, and a piece of ginger. And also I am going to use some pimento seeds. So here I have my dry sorrel guys. Normally you can use the fresh ones, but for exporting purposes, they sell the dry ones, which I think sell more faster. Here are my sorrel that I'm going to wash. You wanna make sure that you wash your sorrel truly guys. Wash it more than once to get rid of the dirt. You might get rid of some of the red color, but that's okay. And now I have my ginger. I am going to, I'm washing my ginger. And I'm going to grate my ginger, put it in the pot to boil. Um, I think when you grate the ginger, it brings out the, the flavor more. So my ginger is boiling, guys. And now I am going to add the sorrel. I'm adding my sorrel into the water. And then I'm going to have this boil for 10 minutes the most. I almost forgot <laughs> now I'm adding my pimento seed guys and when you put the pimento seed in it it brings out the taste more and it just let it taste so good I mean everyone do their sorrel differently but this is how I do mine and I mean I think I do it the best way <laughs> right guys I think so so now I'm just mixing everything make sure everything get mixed I'm going to let it uh, boil for at least five more minutes and then I'll show you guys what's next. Okay guys, so my sorrel petal is fully boiled and I'm going to turn the stove off now and let it cool down for two days. So now I am going to strain my sorrel and I am using two strainer because I want it to be refined. I do not want anything inside of the drink. So using the two strainer helps me strain it properly. Look at that guys. And I'm, I'm also using a measuring cup just to help me um, pour it out more, much easier and more faster. Just be careful when pouring the sorrel out guys because the sorrel color I think it might stain especially if you have a white counter top. Just be careful when pouring the sorrel out because it might stain it so as soon as it drip on the counter you gotta wipe it off right away. <laughs> So guys, that's my sorrel. Once again, no impurities inside. It's very clear, no lumps, nothing inside. Using the tool strainer really helps me to strain it properly. Um, now I am going to add some more ingredients. I'm going to add some Ray and Nephew white rum. The rum bring up the taste, guys. So I'm adding one teaspoon of white rum. You got to be careful with the rum, guys. <laughs> And now I'm going to add two tablespoons of red label wine. So I add my Ray and Nephew rum and two tablespoons of 
red label wine so after I finish at these I am going to sweeten it to my liking So now I'm adding my brown sugar to sweeten it. I mean, you can add granulated sugar, brown sugar, doesn't really matter. But I'm adding the brown sugar to sweeten it. And then again, you have to be careful guys. Remember to sweeten it to your liking. So I didn't really measure the sugar to be honest. I just kind of sweeten it to my liking. So now I'm going to pour myself a glass of sorrel drink. First I'm adding my ice and then I'm going to pour the drink inside the glass. Look at that beautiful red color guys. It looks so good. I cannot wait to taste it. I hope you guys will be trying this drink. It's not too late. You can have sorrel to be honest anytime throughout the year not only on christmas but it's mostly drink on christmas thank you guys so much for watching my video right now i'm going to enjoy my glass of sorrel with a nice slice of black cake and i'm just going to sit back relax and enjoy this beautiful drink Okay, so back home my grandmother used to always preserve the sorrel drink So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can preserve the sorrel drink First you're gonna add some pimento seed maybe like eight grains of pimento seed and Then after you're going to add some long grain white rice and then after You add the long grain white rice. You're gonna just pour the sorrel inside and I mean, when you preserve the sorrel drink, you can have it for as long as ever. It can last for years and years and years. And it tastes good. It tastes just the same. I mean, sorrel beverage or drink is like a Christmassy lemonade. This is a must-have on the Christmas drink menu. <laughs> Preparing sorrel drink is something that I have grown up to see my grandparents do and I'm just happy that I'm able to share this recipe this with you guys So after you put the long grain rice inside your um, Your glass bottle You're just gonna add the sorrel drink into the bottle and then you want to keep it in like a cool area and you can keep it on the fridge or you can keep it in a cool area and it can last for however long you want it i hope you guys have already hit the subscribe button share the video with a friend comment down below if you have any questions have a merry christmas and a happy holiday